Monique. Robin ain't about it. Damn, Monique. Heard you, Ray. Medically, Robin and this wig. I'm also tired of talking about this fight. <laughs> Come on, Wendy. So interesting to see Jamel. Jamel. So then you dumb. Why is baby girl in that snow blue? Look at her. How can she prove that if you guys aren't giving her the chance to do that? The only people on television order salads at bowling alley. My friend. Deserve what up, y'all? Happy Halloween. It's your girl Rizzo here. I promise one day this season, I will drop this recap. Not the day the next episode is going to air. Today's not that day, but it's going to come. Here we go. Real Housewives of Potomac, season five, episode 13, no shows and showdowns. Let's go. And shout out to all of y'all who know that if I don't post it, that means I haven't watched it yet, but y'all can't contain yourself. My homegirl Lincoln hit me and was like, I don't like Wendy. I know you haven't seen it yet, but just know I don't like Wendy. Giselle and these outfits. Wait a minute. Giselle is looking for engagement rings for her and Jamal. Yeah, I told you she was in love, love. Oh, it's for Juan. Okay. Okay. Sis gotta look up what Morganite is. I have no idea. I thought that was like a, maybe a cut, but she goes Morganite time. Okay, so I just looked it up. A Morganite is like a pink stone it's like a rose gold stone i actually like that i love that she's saying we can do eight to ten bitch you made it sound like that's small that's enough she owes ninety thousand in taxes that's enough that ring is gorgeous we about to see monique fail is that like bravo's payback for her right. that got you to the point that you did what you did he I talked like a preacher like that's weird though because monique said the first thing i wanted to do was run and hide the first thing that Monique did was run around that to say she's gonna kill her. And then tweeted. And then went to the girls and said she wasn't remorseful. So there's a lot of things that happened before this said first thing that she felt. I'm trying to wrap my head around that. I know it's been a little bit since Robin we like, were able to see Okay. Me. Robin ain't about it. She like, don't use this moment to capitalize off of this and then make a whole spectacle for yourself. Karen, we like this little um, Cinderella ruching, nice bust line here. We like this little interview outfit. Might be your best of the season. You can't see it, but it's a nice soft blue with a little sparkle. It's giving me like Fashion Nova Cinderella, sexy Disney princess for Halloween. Now the pendant and the large, thick gold necklace, I don't know if that really goes, but I'm still a fan of this look. One, can we talk about why black men don't like therapy? But two, Ray, you don't like therapy. You talking to a relationship expert and a life coach. What you think is so different than a therapist? Now I know therapists are actually trained, but in terms of what Ray is doing, you're doing the same thing. You're sitting down in front of a person and sitting there and letting her talk to you and ask you questions about your relationship and you're giving feedback. Why are you okay with that, but you're not okay with therapy? Someone help. She used to be Ray Huger's wife, mm. and now I'm Karen Huger's husband. <laughs> what else does she have to do <laughs> besides the house <laughs> the and house me? And <laughs> Heard you, Ray. Honestly, true. that's the problem. Ray is not getting all this attention as being like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Look at you taking care of me. You're the man. There's no one else out there because Karen got her own shit. She not just living just for Ray. She's also living for herself. And that don't sit right with him. I can't take that back. Just because you can't go back, it doesn't mean that you can't address it now in the present. Yeah, that's not a good excuse, Ray. Mommy, mommy doesn't give me any milk. I give you milk all the time. <laughs> Come on, Wendy. I am about empowering women, not women who beat other women. Look, I'm, I don't know if I want to say I'm team Monique. I'm team, like, I don't know. Time has passed, so I'm not too sure. But I'm not mad about Wendy in this moment. Well, you do have to see that growth in Monique. You have to see something change because the last time that she spoke to her, Monique was like, I'm not remorseful and had no care. So I can understand Wendy's stance right now. Wait a minute. Wait, I gotta read these texts. You know people shady as fuck, but funny. Pretty girls rock or sometimes knock you out. <laughs> Whatever Monique is up for it. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> you can't sing, Candace. Your voice got you removed. Oh my God. They went with a real singer. Now keep my name out your mouth, okay? Failed attempts at being booked. Oh. Whoever on the Bravo staff selected these as the things that Candace is saying is always coming at her. You, my friend, deserve a raise. I mean, you are petty. Why would Wendy thing happen before she got on the show or is this something that's coming from the show? So Jamal is either, either holding up here or holding onto the side of the door. Why is he so scared with the way that Zell is driving? 
This is such an interesting relationship. That's so interesting to see Jamel. 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 Is that their group name? Giselle and Jamal. Like, I'm just. How do those two work? This is so interesting. Also, isn't the basis of this conversation that she doesn't like being long distance? I feel like she was saying that for a reason as if like come up here or you stay down there or something, but that's not, we never resolved that. It was just, hey, I like you. I'm glad you told me that you like me too. What just happened? Uh, sis, I feel like we should know how many RSVPs we got and only set the room up for that number. Otherwise it looks really bad if there's empty seats in the room. Like we could, we could fix this. They look like they on top of each other right now. Why, why is baby girl in that snow blue? Is this a, are we dressing up? Like is this cam? Uh, it's Halloween. Look at her. Why, what are you wearing? And why? Let's put on a good show and have fun. Look at her in this blue. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, she's got a crowd. I'm glad, I was worried. Ashley's supporting her because she whooped this ass for her. I just don't think it's time until she proves that she knows how to act right. Right, how can she prove that if you guys aren't giving her the chance to do that? She learned a lesson in less than two weeks? No. Why not? They want to see that you have changed, but then they don't want to show up to see it. Exactly. And Karen said, I would press charges. Monique didn't know that Karen said that. Wow. Girl, she just said we not having any conversations about the fight and this is the first question? She getting fired or what? Because we don't like that. Yo, only people on television order salads at bowling alleys because sis, I'm fucking that whole pizza and them fries up. Their oldest son walks just like Juan, like a ball player. Ooh, Candace, baby, those shoes. Look at these shoes. Candace, you got the Yes. All right, let's see what Giselle's wearing. Giselle, are you always dressed like that? Robin in this wig. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's not a good look. From the side, yes. But she looks old. Let's talk about who's on the school board. Let's talk about those local. I love this. Thank you for having this discussion. Thank you, Bravo, for airing this full entire moment this is what matters everybody is jumping on this presidential election granted please jump if you haven't go out and vote to get the motherfucker out i don't really care about this ain't no we political here but she is exactly right the things that are happening next door up the street to your kids to your family members to you that shit is directly coming from your local officials every two years you should be voting this is not just the presidential election every four years. I don't know if Karen did that purposefully. You see, I don't even like the tone that Candace has right now when she's speaking to Karen about this. I don't like it. <laughs> your mind is so powerful, but so is your mouth. Whitney, shut up. Whitney Petty. Yo, Link, I'm trying to find why you don't like Whitney, but like, I'm kind of with her right now. And she's liking the photo. And she's Damn, Monique. Karen, stop this right now. Medically, Karen. Medically, she hit her because she ain't like her. Point blank, period. There's no justification. She has the capabilities of being violent in the past. This is not. So then you dumb. Whose fault is that that you still went to the fire after this woman showed you? Keep coming at me, keep saying some shit, I'm gonna whoop your ass, and you still continue to do it anyway. That's poor judgment on your behalf. As educated as you are, you sound very ignorant. Ooh. Candace's problem is that she wants everybody to hate Monique to show that they're with her. Y'all were both wrong. So nobody's gonna sit up here and just be friends with you and hate your enemy just because they're your enemy. That ain't got shit to do with them. Alenka, baby girl, I tried. I don't see it. I know you said you don't like Wendy, but I just don't see it. Sis, like everything she said this episode, I'm on her side. Even though I support Monique, like I kind of get it. I'm also tired of talking about this fight. So I'm hoping that they move on and have another storyline. Let's get to it, because really, this is like seven seasons and seven episodes in. We got to talk about something else. I'll see y'all next week. And I'm going to be on time. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to be on time.